going on? Yeah, uh, there's, uh, there's like this maneuver in, uh, martial arts or fighting, and it's basically, it would be called, it's called, it's called chambering, and I mean, I was first introduced to, like, the, the term chambering, and it, it, it's a taekwondo method, basically, it's basically saying a kick has four parts, so the first part of the kick is chambering. Is lifting your leg up, then it's kicking, then it's bringing it back to the chamber, then setting it down. So, I want to talk about all right, a chamber, no chamber, and a double chamber. So, no chamber would be like you're relaxed and you just go into a hit, which in in Chinese terminology, that would be called your Bruce Lee one-inch punch method. It's just like, look, no matter where you're at, where you're stretched, how you're out, you can stop and then still bust through from with nothing, nowhere to go. You had no chamber. You are the chamber. Uh, but it's like, why do people put up their dukes? When you put up your dukes, you're putting your hands in a chamber position because from here, see how the fist fingers are po pointing towards me. It twists as you as you bring it out. You know what I'm saying? So this is a chamber, but if you put the hand here, this is a chamber, and it's it's also the bear lifts the roof hand position. The squad number, I think five or six, but uh. So from here, this chamber goes quickly to uh, it goes quickly to here. So it'd be like here. Yeah, turn your from bear. You turn your hands in the opposite way, and then it just flips oppositely out. So look, that's a chamber. So putting your hand from here to here is chamber. It's out of the chamber, and then it goes back to the chamber. Okay. So here's one chamber. It goes out. But here's a second chamber, okay? If you take your body, twist it like this. One, this is this is a chamber, because watch this energy. See all that, that rotational spin you get? That's a chamber, okay? So this chamber on top of uh, this chamber, and that you use all that, that double chambering effect to add more width force. And it's like a, it, it, it really is, it's kind of like a piston on a, on a train. That, that, that bar that connects the two wheels, it, it goes like, it's, it's, that's the best way I can explain this twist. And then that straight out is, is literally, it's like when that wheel goes all the way to the end of its circle and then on its way back it. It comes back in and rechambers up and then blasts back out again. So <clears throat> you got no chamber. You know what I'm saying? Which is it's just going from zero to a hundred. And then you got you got a hundred percent backwards, a hundred percent forward. Or like here, here's like a karate guy explained this to me too. It's like basically this when you punch forward in order to send your arm out faster you actually take the opposite arm and go backwards at the same time so he taught me 50% backwards and 50% forwards because by 50% backwards and forwards you get this rotational and it's like a switch like the balance is switched real quick and it gives you this kind of <clears throat> it's like the body contains all these simple machines and you gotta keep developing your body mechanics and understanding of your anatomy and how it works and how it's connected all right triple chambering so here's another form of chambering all right see my stance okay this left foot i will press it down now look i'm going to take my body and i'm going to step now my chamber is in my leg because it's twisted to come back into you you know what I'm saying? Same thing. So look, one chamber, 
Now I'm in a chamber up here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, then twist my body a little bit more. Then add the 50 back, 50 forward. And that's how you get multiple chambers all lined up. They're all, everything's taunt and coiled and ready to spring out. You don't want, you want to keep practicing it so you can get in position faster. And then you can explode out of it <laughs> without without actually telegraphing that's what you're going to do so that's where the problem is it's not the understanding how it works but it's understanding how to use it so it's not i mean look if i go like this a person can perceive like oh shit anyone who does what i do is going to see what i'm doing right away and, and they don't even have to be a kung fu practitioner the wrestler's going to watch me sink my 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 balance point and they're going to sink their balance point too it's like football. <laughs> when two people crash, whoever's the lowest is normally the one to come out on top. You know what I'm saying? So, makes sense. And once again, they see you chamber, put up your dukes. They put up their dukes. Basically, same thing with wrestlers. They they get low and kind of go, and they go, they can go sideways too because it, it cuts down the body. I mean, actually, in a way, to be sideways is to be chambered for an escape. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <coughs> as well. You know, there's multiple applications to the chambering skills. You know what I'm saying? So, something to think about there.